Um, but I kind of wanted to jump into a bit of news, um, if that's all right. Yeah, that's fine. You. All right. Um, so this week, Nintendo had their uh, Nintendo Direct, like uh, like they normally do every once in a while. <coughs> I mean, it's kind of overtaken their E E three. Uh, I, I don't know their E three showings and whatnot. But yeah. Anyway, so Nintendo. Um, uh, they had their direct, and um, they were showing off the new 3DS and whatnot, and um, uh, <coughs> um, sorry, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> hi, Jake. <laughs> um, anyway, so they're showing off their new 3DS and Majora's Mask and um, all the stuff that they have coming up for spring, and uh, <laughs> when I went to go buy things. Um, it turns out that they were already sold out of all the new 3DSs before the West Coast could even get their hands on it. So, it was... That's a good thing for Nintendo, though. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're making money, man. But um, what also <laughs> made me really mad was that, I don't know, lately, they've just been selling out of everything. Like, they just don't have enough product to meet demand. At but all. can that I'm... can can that not be just the fact that they have made so many losses that they are now playing it very safe and they they do, they do not oh, spend definitely. a ton of money producing stuff they can't sell. It's better to oh, sell out yeah. than to stand there with huge amounts of games that people don't care for. Yeah, I mean, like with all the sellouts with like the amiibos and. Um, the, the 3DSs and stuff, it really reminds me of when the Wii first came out and everyone was dying to get their hands on it and almost no one could except for like a select few people who had either like pre-ordered it or <sighs> I don't know. But yeah. um, anyways. But hey, I, 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 just, I just must ask here because yeah. you are, you like Nintendo, right? That's, oh, definitely. That's yeah. the thing, that's, and there, there's tons with. of people that are really liking this company. At least their yeah. games. We should maybe could you know split that up because the products that they produce are classic. Yeah. Um, but they are kind of douchebags. Oh, Nintendo. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I I just recently saw that, for example, on uh, Angry Joe show. That they they had attacked his channel with copyright claims because he uh, he had been trying out the new v, uh, Wii U and doing reviews. Oh yeah, Nintendo um, does not like no, YouTube at all whatsoever. They don't like anybody. That's not them. Yeah, on the internet, if if you're not Nintendo, then get out of their way because they don't like you. <laughs> how how do you deal with that? Um, I, I mean, kind of deal with it on a video to video basis. Yeah. Um, normally, half the time, if I get flagged, I'll just acknowledge the third-party content. It's whatever. I mean, it's Nintendo's. I get it. It's fine. But if they don't, then I'm not going to say anything. So, um, I'm not going to bring it up to them. Be like, oh, hey, Nintendo, but you do they treat to flag like uh, Do they treat the traditional review stations the same? I mean, if would they would they attack like um, a gaming magazine for doing a review of their game? No, they oh, wouldn't. No, no. Um, but they definitely just... I mean, somebody uh, should give them a real, you know, I mean, that's, bitch slap that's for one of the being benefits of having, Yeah, that's one of the benefits of having a network, though, is that you can actually have people fight your battles for you. So if you have, like, something that's actually giving criticism and education in a video, like, say, a la uh, Respect Your Elders from your one and only Sam Bam, uh which is a bit of a history lesson and review all in one, um, then, you know, it doesn't normally And get it's flagged. a great series that if you haven't watched it, you should go and watch all the episodes of it because they're great. Yep, continue. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Nintendo doesn't like YouTube a lot, but um, that's that's been a acknowledged for a while. Uh, yeah, but anyways. that <laughs> means that they don't like their own fans. Uh, that's not necessarily true. I mean, they definitely listen to their fans they may not deliver to their fans but 
Uh, they don't deliver. They claim they listen, but they don't deliver. Yeah. That's like I, 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 I understand that you defend them because yeah. you like yeah. them. I'm just, I'm just oh, taking totally. up the debate. How long can they continue be douchebags to everybody that's not traditional Japanese gamer? As far as I'm aware, they're trying to work something out with YouTube for uh, so that people can actually get paid for the videos that they make. Yeah. Um, so, as far as I'm aware, but pretty much just Nintendo wants a cut of the money, just because they they they've been hurting, and I get it. But they they think there's money. Why? There, there's really uh, not a lot of money there. You know, guess why? If you treat your fans like, yeah. hey, I I don't care if you have spent. 50 hours producing something where you talk about gaming history or if you are doing a review that actually would raise our sales yeah i'm still going to claim every ounce of that i mean that yeah, that's, that's not a good way of doing business that's that's all i am i'm pointing out and yeah. uh, i was reading statements from um how to uh from uh, nintendo's boss uh the vice principal uh not vice principal. What I'm saying, um, from the director there, and he he is sounds like they are slowly but surely waking up to this problem. Uh, yeah. And you sound like they are slowly but surely trying to wake up to that. They're, it's 2015 yeah. now. They're, they're trying.